House of Faith, CHOF. It's Bishop Dr. W.F. Houston, Jr. Praise the Lord, beloved. Welcome to CHOF Bible Fellowship. I'm Bishop Dr. W.F. Houston, Jr., Executive Director of Christian House of Faith, CHOF, and CHOF Ministry. I pray that your time with me will bring you love, joy, peace, wisdom, and knowledge. Beloved, during this time of year, for many, the focus will be generated toward a man in a red and white stocking cap and suit. This time of year also becomes the benchmark for merchandising. Today, I will bring you part one of a two-part series entitled, Jesus is the Reason for the Season, or Is He? And our theme's focus scripture comes from Matthew 6, 19 through 21. present to you Bishop Dr. W.F. Houston, Jr. And the Word of God reads this way. Don't store up treasures here on earth where a moth eat them and rust destroys them, and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where a moth and rust cannot destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. Once again, the Word says, don't store up treasures here on earth, where moth eat them and rust destroys them, and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven, where moth and rust cannot destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. May God add blessings to the listeners and workers of his holy word. You know, for several centuries, the Christian assembly didn't pay much attention to the celebration of Jesus' birth. And as a matter of fact, back then, they paid little attention to birthdays, period. They actually paid more attention to a person being baptized. But as the church gradually developed a calendar to commemorate the major events of the life of Jesus, did it start to celebrate his birth? Now, believe it or not, beloved, the actual date of Jesus' birth had been forgotten. Mm -hmm. So a day had to be selected. Now, the Eastern Orthodox and the Eastern Rite churches have chose January the 6th, while the Western church, based in Rome, has chose December the 25th. And it's known from a notice in an ancient Roman almanac that Christmas was celebrated on December the 25th in Rome in AD 336. So you see, beloved, for hundreds of years, Jesus' birthday was not celebrated. Mm -mm. You know, there are many articles and teachings that try to illustrate the birth of Christ. Uh, the birth of Jesus has become so confusing that it has now been tagged by many skeptics with the conspiracy theory marker. If you want to strike up a good debate, just mention your thoughts on when Jesus was born. Now, regardless of which date you choose to celebrate the birth of Jesus, remember Jesus is the reason for the season, which coexists with the remembrance of his death, burial, and resurrection. We find that both events are good news and they both represent purpose and respect. Now, there are many postings on social media, in the stores, on TV, and you can even hear it on the radio that Jesus is the reason for the season. But if you actually look at it, for many people, this is just lip service. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's been just lip service for many, many, many years. Today, 
as in years past, Christmas is a celebratory event for the God of possessions and merchandise. Mm -hmm. We find in our society's culture that Santa Claus is this God's name, and you better watch out for he's keeping a list of who's naughty and who's nice. Uh, that's the teaching of the followers of this God. <laughs> Beloved, our hope and salvation and redemption is in Jesus, not Santa. Yet it seems that more people believe in Santa than in Jesus. Beloved, who are you really commemorating this season? Hmm? Let's look at what Matthew 9, 19 through 24 says. Now, right here, I'm not going to mess around because I want you to see exactly what this verse is saying. So I'm going to read it from the Message Bible. It says, don't hoard treasures down here where it gets eaten by moths and corrupted by rust or worse, stolen by burglars. Stockpile treasures in heaven where it's safe from moth and rust and burglars. It's obvious, isn't it? The place where your treasures is, is the place where you will most want to be and end up being. Your eyes are windows into your body. If you open your eyes wide in wonder and believe, your body fills up with light. If you live squinty-eyed in greed and distrust, your body is a dank cellar. If you pull the blinds on your windows, what a dark place you have. You can't worship two gods at once. Loving one god, you'll end up hating the other. Adoration of one feeds contempt for the other. You can't worship God and money both. Beloved, those who follow Christ are full of light, while those who follow Santa will be filled with the temporary dim light. Now, I'm sure there's someone out there asking, Bishop Houston, does this mean Christians can't give gifts during Christmas and observe the holiday? Well, I'm glad you asked, because this is a great question. In this area, beloved, as many other areas in our life, I feel that a balance must be required. Now, I'm sure that what I'm about to say, I'll get a lot of negative phone calls, a lot of undesirable emails, and more media rejections. But I must tell it as the Holy Spirit presents it to me. I feel that churches and ministries shouldn't have Christmas trees or anything to do with Santa Claus in their programs. I feel that anything that challenges, hinders, or brings confusion to the knowledge, the love, the desire, and respect and loyalty to God's only begotten Son, who, by the way, came to this earth so that we may live and not just live here on earth, but have everlasting life, should have a day instituted somewhere else. In other words, give Stan his own day to be jolly. <laughs> After all, Thanksgiving has its own special day. The 4th of July has its own special day. And the list goes on and on for 10 of the 12 months. And the other two months, we celebrate Jesus, shared by a man with a beard in a red and white suit with a sleigh and reindeer. And the other is shared by a rabbit with a basket. Beloved, like many of you out there, I was brought up to believe in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. I even shared in both celebratory traditional festivities. But today, I choose to celebrate the commemorated days to pay honor to the birth of the one who died on that old red cross and then resurrected so that salvation could be granted from my once immoral lifestyle. Beloved, Christian families should teach their children at an early age that Santa Claus is not real and does not bring gifts. Now look what I said. I said Christian families. Children shouldn't be taken to sit on Santa's lap to recite a list of wants or be allowed to write him letters, especially now in our perverted society. When children are asked what does Santa bring you, they should be taught to reply that my parents my grandparents and others gave me gifts, not Santa Claus. Beloved, let me tell you, God is not the author of confusion. Santa Claus is an illusion.
Mm-hmm. Now, for those of you out there that are delusional, allow me to tell you about an illusion. You see, an illusion brings a sense of deception, uh, and deception is dishonesty or trickery, and trickery is magic, and magic is a form of sorcery or witchcraft. Revelation 18:23 tells us, it says, And never again will the light of a lamp shine in you, and never again will the voice of the bridegroom and the bride be heard in you, for your merchants were the great and prominent men of the earth, because all the nations were deceived and misled by your sorcery, your magic spells, and poisonous charms. <laughs> Beloved, we must stop the traditional Santa Claus and Incantations that's put in a spell on the children of the day and the children of the future. It's very important that Christians are taught that everything comes from God and all belongs to Him. We're the stewards of His gifts. To say Santa Claus brings his gifts, we make God jealous and it damages His name because He's the one who gives gifts, not Santa. Matthew 7 11 says, If you then being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give those who ask him? Beloved, is Jesus really the reason for the season in your life, in your family's life? Or is it Santa Claus the real reason for the season? Amen. Will you pray with me? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we enter the season that was selected to honor the birth of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, help us to stay focused on the real reason for the season. Lord God, help us recognize man's tradition and deter anything that takes our focus off the child who was born in Bethlehem over 2,000 years ago to bring us salvation. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen. Beloved, The challenges of life are filled with unique and obscure characteristics for every individual. But we must overcome the ambiguous by representing and presenting love to everyone. So today, reach out to someone you love and tell them you love them. Because telling them later just might be too late. Have a blessed Sunday, everyone. Please join Bishop Dr. W.F. Houston, Jr. each Sunday here on CHOF Ministry Radio. Come and get your Sunday started by feeding your spirit with a wholesome plate of spiritual food.